Hi, Super Spruce here, back with another Enter Our Dimensions Reality Upset video, episode 6. And you can see it's been a while since last episode. Kind of got it just going for a while. I can get five time theorems here from Enter Our Infinity Points. And this is just one away from six, which would be really, really useful because then I could get this, which is seems quite powerful i'm so close to the infinity points here i really wish there was like just a little push i could give it to give me that but i think i just got a eternity unfortunately but whatever we're getting 870 eternity points shouldn't be that bad and we can get the time study right now so this is gonna it's gonna be pretty powerful i think so, yeah, you can see E, I should just, maybe I should just push attorney points here. Because you can see, I can get 500, should maybe even get faster if I, like, I tried to make it so that, so make it so that the, this doesn't maybe every E40 instead of E20. So I'm going to turn off this attorney animation, it's annoying. Seems like it's giving me about the same attorney points per minute, maybe a little bit higher. So maybe I should do 1e30, maybe that's the sweet spot here. And now I can actually go to dimensions, time dimensions, I can get the fourth time dimension, which I think is pretty useful here. It's going to give me more tick speed upgrades. And then eternity upgrades. I already got the first two. The next one is 5e4, except there's also the multiply eternity points sources for, by, or multiply by, Multiply eternity points from all sources by five times. That seems pretty good. So I'm going to go for that. And then if you go for more time theorems, I mean, there's not really much else I can do with the time theorems or much else other than time theorems, because I mean, there's the eternity point multipliers. There is, well, I can't really go for achievements. I can't really do anything here. I can't really do anything here. There is a turn any milestones that it could go for, like this and this. I'm not sure how useful those are. If I go to if I, if I go to my statistics and I just go to regular statistics, I think how much I only have like a 144 eternities. Now I have 150 eternities. I, I do have some banked infinities, but it isn't that many. Actually, the five times attorney point multiplier is going to allow me to get a few more time theorems quickly. And maybe we can also see just how powerful the th this study is actually doing. I don't think it's that powerful, unfortunately. So what I could do is try to go for a longer run just to see where it's going to get me. I'm getting a replicated galaxy every 4.336 seconds. It's going to go down even more as I get more infinity points. Now you can see with E780 infinity points, I can get a replicated galaxy every one second approximately. And, and now I have all the replicated galaxies I can get. And I'm really not being, I'm not able to push any farther. So I'm kind of stuck in the nasty early eternity grind, which is a shame. I really want to get this study. It's only five time theorems instead of six, and it looks much more po powerful than what I had before. But unfortunately, it does cost me quite a lot of just everything. And I think the easiest route is to grind eternity points. So that, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see where I peak my eternity points per minute, and then try to just set up an automatic eternity. So it looks like about 650 maybe. Yeah, let's do let's do 650. And then let's turn on the auto buyer. So actually this isn't going to be too bad. I can I can already get up to 32. I just need one more time theorem after this. And also I can spend eternity points on time dimensions. I almost forgot about that. Because these upgrades are only they're not very powerful. They only do it. They only like boost this multiplier by four times. I'm going to get everything under a thousand though. Because I still think that's pretty useful. It's 
it's like four times four times is like a five or so tick speed upgrades so i guess that'll do something it'll be significant so i'm going to just wait for one more eternity because of this eternity upgrade that gives me an infinity dimension multiplier just like this time study and then wait i need one more time theorem crap i don't know why maybe you could just get this instead this actually might be more powerful anyway so we're gonna do that instead and now i'm gonna try to see what happens if i go on a slightly longer run to see if i can get any more time theorems oops i just clicked the wrong text box here yeah keep that ticked turn that off that's a little bit confusing but i should get used to it this is interesting now it says instead of taking a certain amount of seconds per replicated galaxy it says i'm getting one replicated galaxies per second or 1.1 per second so you can see this is actually helping things a bit but it's gonna take a while to get serious time theorems and eternity point grinding is still probably the better strategy even at this point so i am going to turn the auto buyer back on and just grind eternity points for a while and then we'll see where i end up after that so yeah see you in a bit Okay, I'm back, and you can see I have about 50,000 Eternity Points. It's not that much more than what I had before, but it's still enough for a couple more Time Theorems. And I'm going to go with a different strategy, because I think Infinity Dimension and Idle doesn't really work well together. For Time Dimension, Idle works much better. So I'm going to disable the Eternity Point. Actually, before I do that, I could get this. I could also get this which is actually seems very powerful maybe it's just get this instead this this is like e12 maybe i just want that especially considering the fact i have another eternity point multiplier and then maybe after that i will respect my time study tree and try to go for the long run of time dimensions okay here we go i can get this multiplier and i think it's going to be significantly faster to gain, maybe not a turn, maybe, okay, maybe, yeah, attorney points do seem faster. It seems like optimal is almost at 100,000 attorney points now, plus I'm going to get a bunch of time dimensions here. I can get this, 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 I can even get one more here, and I could get another time theorem. I'm not sure if that's useful. Because I calculated this is 5, 11, 14, 17. I have 33. So this would be 27, 33. So the next useful one would be if I had 35. So I kind of want to get at least enough eternity points to get two to get two more time theorems. So here's one, and the other will be right here so now i will respec i'll just do a fast turnity here it's probably the fastest this runs so that this is much higher if i ever want to go for that and we're going to do this we're going to go time dimensions get the first three and then did i really miscalculate yes i did miscalculate it's actually 34 time theorems and i miscalculate again sometimes i am just super dumb with my math i don't i don't understand it but actually i can get all the way up to 9 e9 or 83 infinity points so maybe it doesn't matter anyway let's build is actually helping even though i'm not really in full idle mode yet i now get a time theorem with infinity points and a time theorem with antimatter it means i can actually get this as well which allows me to push even farther i can get 15 replicated galaxies in total and Attorney point isn't really going to be very good, but I can probably push to even like another time theorem. Maybe I can try to even get this, which I think is pretty good. It's equal to replicated galaxy now. I can get 15, no, 16 of those. So that's pretty good. So here's E1100 infinity points. Unfortunately, this singular time theorem isn't really going to help very much. However, 
maybe I can do this. And actually, no, I have to respec first. So I get this, get this time theorem. And instead of going with this study, go all the way down the time dimension one or miscalculate once again because I am stupid. I don't, I, seriously, I don't know if I lost my brain today. Maybe I have. Well, anyway, it's not it's not that big of a deal. I can just keep getting stuff like this. I I'm even gonna get these. I'm gonna get these too. It's not that expensive. Well, anyway, finally I can get this last time theorem and get this upgrade. And hopefully this is gonna be good in the long run. I'm not I think I I'm just going for time theorems here. I could grind eternity points, but that's boring. It's more interesting to do this. It's not really gonna give any immediate results because time time dimensions really help more when I leave it going for a long time. So I can gain more tick speed upgrades out of it. And some of these actually no, this is mostly this is not based on time. But like eventually I'm gonna wanna get go down the idle path here. And I will be gaining time theorems and eternity points, hopefully. That that's the goal. Because I know in the vanilla game, this part of the game isn't exactly the fastest, and there's a really big slump at about E16 and no, not infinity, eternity points. And it, and you don't really get out of that slump until like around E25, where it just gets faster and faster and faster. And eventually you get study 181, which is, you know, the over overpowered one. And it keeps getting faster and faster. And then you break through Eternity Challenge 10. And you go through um, what's considered the fastest part of Antimatter Dimensions. So, yeah. But we're still a very long way away from there. And even longer from reality. Which is crazy. It's taking so long to get back to reality. So, yeah. Hope you enjoyed. Peace out.